Hey guys, this is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. We've done a, a couple different package deal videos before and they've turned out really, really popular for us. One of them was package deal number eight on our website, which included a CK2610 with a grapple, a third function, and uh, the base tractor with the loader on it and the bucket. Uh, today we've come up with a new package. Uh, we're featuring a new grapple that came out about a couple months ago for us, so we're pretty excited. Um, Look for this package deal on our website. The price for all of this here that you see is going to be $19.5. That's where this package deal is starting at. That includes the following, a CK2510. It would start at the gear shift. The hydrostatic would be approximately $1,100 to $1,200 more. Um, so a CK2510, 24 and a half horsepower tractor uh, with the three-point PTO, and then the KL2510 loader with the skid steer quick attach, 50 inch front bucket. The third function, uh, hydraulics, plumb to the joystick with a button control, which we're gonna go over, installed. And also, this new work saver, uh, SSG, SGG, 48S, uh, small grapple, compact, subcompact grapple. All right, all that for 19.5. Um, pretty nice setup. We can, of course, add other features and add other options to this. Um, so don't worry about it if this isn't perfect for you. You know, we can make a package for whatever your needs are. But we're pretty excited about this, and I'm going to go through this package, what it features, who it's going to benefit, and why maybe this is the right choice for you guys. So grapples and third functions on the front of these tractors have become very popular lately. And the reason why is because it eliminates the need for a lot of other attachments. So Everybody always needs to pick up things, but let's face it, in a bucket, there's nothing to clamp down with. You're going to drop it out of the bucket if it's a weird, ops, you know, uh, a weird shape. The grapple eliminates that problem, so we can you know, de-root ground. We can drop these teeth in the ground, set them in and drive forward and root up grass and debris. We can collect leaves with this grapple, wet piles of leaves and debris. Um, this grapple is great for firewood. If you're you know, cutting down trees or, or saplings and stuff and collecting piles of firewood, whether it be just clearing brushes, you know, brush piles out of the woods and broken sticks that fall, fell in your trails that year, or you're physically going and trying to do a firewood operation on your small homestead and collect logs and cut them down to you know, log lengths and uh, throw them in and, uh, and uh, split them. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This grapple is going to do all of that. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, you don't need to get a backhoe uh, to hold on to things with a thumb anymore because we got this and that set up so we can hold on to stuff on the front now. It's bigger than a backhoe, obviously, so you can lift up heavier items. Um, and it's got other uses, like I said, root, like a root rake, dropping it in the ground and driving forward to de-root up the ground or kill all the grass or pick up all the leaves. You don't need to throw a rake on the three-point hitch anymore. You don't need to buy that extra attachment because you got this. So it's a really useful setup. One thing that's very important when buying a grapple is making sure it's sized perfectly with the tractor. So this setup, this grapple weighs approximately 210 pounds, no more, maybe a little five pounds more or less. Um, so around 210 pounds, and uh, that is perfect for a CK2510. Why that is, is because this tractor, first off, is about 50 inches wide. So this being 48 inches is perfect. It's narrower and it's compact. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. This loader is rated for right around 1,100 pounds, um, give or take. It's a full height at the pivot pin with a breakout force of over 2,000 pounds at the pivot pin. So what we're looking at is that 1,100 pound rating, and now we subtract 200 pounds from it right off the bat because this is comfortably a lot heavier than your bucket, let's face it. And uh, now we're still going to pick up 800 pounds with this grapple efficiently. I mean, if we put a grapple in the front here that was 450 pounds, we'd be, we'd be screwed, right? Because now you're only lifting up a couple hundred pound item on that grapple. So this grapple WorkSaver came out for subcompacts and small compact tractors, which this CK2510 is. We're super excited about it. This package is 19.5 with everything that you see here. I'm starting in a gear drive. It's about $1,000 to work up to the hydrostatic drive. One thing we do see people do adding a lot for this setup is a rim guard beet juice fill to, to the tires. That is about, um, you know, going to raise up the price. It'll still be well under $20,000 for you, um, but it will raise up the price and it will add about to each one of these tires, 250 to 300 pounds. I mean, this machine will comfortably be 500 pounds heavier 
with the rim guard and the tires. That's going to be an awesome counterweight when you're trying to lift and maximize the front end of this tractor. Um, CK2510 is a proven model. This uses the Daydong three-cylinder diesel engine. It's easy to maintain. It's just filters and fluids. There's no electronics. It's, it's all around a perfect homeowner tractor that you don't have to worry about a huge maintenance curve with. It's really oils and filters, and that's pretty much it. You, you know. um, so we love this tractor. Comes with a six-year unlimited hour warranty on this tractor for the engine, the transmission, and the front end, which is great. Um, skid steer quick attach front bucket. We already kind of went over that as you got the grapple. This skid steer quick attach system allows you to hook up pallet forks, a grapple obviously, snow plows, bigger buckets, rock buckets, a lot of different things, um, which is slick. Comes with a grill guard standard. The bucket's really beefy. It's, it's got drilled holes for adding a cutting edge if you want to do that. This top piece up here, this is actually tubed in. So this isn't just a lip here, this is full tube steel underneath. You don't find that on a lot of bucket, you know, on a lot of tractor manufacturers doing that on loaders right now with buckets. Um, that bucket is really beefy for this machine. Come over here, it comes with a floor mat standard. This one we're showing is a hydrostatic. Um, comes in a gear drive as well, as I mentioned, that's where the package starts with. The hydrostatic model does come standard with a treadle pedal, forward and reverse right there. And then there's a lock in for a cruise control, which is a really nice feature. You lock that up and your pedal will lock down. That's great for if you're snow blowing or mowing. Um, to this tractor, we can add a cab, we can add a mid-mount mower, we can add a front-mount snow blower, a backhoe. There's a lot of different things you can add to this. So, like I said, if it's not the perfect match, let us know. We can quote out something different. Something that I want to show that's above and beyond most competitors out there in this size class tractor is the seat. All right, had a customer here earlier today looking at this tractor and he said, wow, Marshall, this seat is something that's just so much different than all the other brands out there in this size. And he's exactly right. This seat, there's an actual hydraulic compression in that seat. You can set this, spin this, and it will basically raise that seat up and tighten that compression in there. So if you're a bigger guy, um, you know, say heavier than me, you crank this up a little bit, the seat will sit a little higher and it'll have less compression in it now. It's harder to get that to bounce up and down. So that's really nice. This is literally a person adjusting seat where most of the other seats out there are sitting on rubber little mallets and springs. So high quality, They're, they put some thought into that. This is a two range, low and high speed transmission. Uh, rear PTO, turning it on and off. This does have a rear PTO. There is an optional mid-mount PTO. There's also an optional rear mount hydraulic remote, which this customer chose to get. So we're gonna go over that on this setup too. Um, Glow plug standard, obviously optional block here. A um, lot, of, lot of nice features. There's a cup holder right here. Um, we're gonna go over the, th the uh, third function valve. I'm gonna come to the other side and we'll go over that. So if you take a good glance at this right here, this is our third function that's set up. Um, there's a couple different kits that we use here. It's basically at the time, whatever we can get our hands on quick enough is what we'll use. There's a couple different brands. Coyote does have their own. Um, this one that we're showing is not a Coyote. This is a different brand, WR Long Third Function. It's a great brand. We use them all the time, high quality products. Um, if the Coyote ones are not available, we're using the WR Long because that's our number one go-to for third functions. Um, so that's kind of what we got set up here. They're both just as durable. They use a similar valving style right here, um, all hooked in. So opening and closing this grapple will simply be on the same joystick as your loader and you press open or close. Very nice system. Right here we have our three point hitch lever you know, on the back for the back and here we have our rear remote valve lever as well. Options for tires, you can get industrial, you can get agricultural tires or turf tires. All the same price, it's up to the customer on that. This loader is quick detachable. You'll see kickstands right here. If you want to take this whole loader off, it's quick and easy. It's a nice setup. Um, you're going to notice something really beefy about this right here. This is all cast steel. All right, cast steel end to end on this machine. We'll go to the back and check out this rear end. If you look at this rear end right here, this is all cast steel all the way around everywhere back here. Um, if you look at some of the comparable tractors in this class and this size machine, you're going to look at a B-series Kubota, maybe a two-series John Deere or three-series John Deere. Um, Stuff like that. Everybody else is pretty much running on the market a aluminum transmission casing in the back. 
ma making their tractors much lighter duty and lighter in weight. This tractor weighs a lot more than a B-Series Kubota. So if you want to put it on spec sheets, check it out. Uh, the numbers don't lie. Put a magnet to the back end and that'll tell you the real truth behind it. These guys are running a full heavy cast steel end-to-end -end front end tractor. Um, so check out that, see the difference there. That's going to help increase lift capacity and stability on these machines. Right here we got our three-point hitch. Comes standard with a draw bar, full-size draw bar, your PTO back here. This customer did opt for a rear valve setup because he's going to be running a uh, what's called a hydraulic top link for a box blade back here. So he wanted that hydraulic remote kit added to the back. But just an option to add. Fuel tanks in back. That's another thing to look at. Some of the other guys are putting it up front on the hood in odd spots. I love that about this tractor. Adds ballast to the back. It's steel, steel tank, um, and uh, it's easy to fill up. It's not a hassle, and you're not spilling it all over the front of your tractor. It's on the back. Your roll bar can fold if you need to fit in a garage or something like that. This roll bar can fold right about here, so you can comfortably get in that garage that you know your normal Jeep or whatever car or SUV could fit into. Um, we're going to start this machine up and go over some of its some of its operation on the grapple. I just want to give you a quick demonstration with a pile of sticks I got over there. See what this thing's capable of. Um, these tires on this tractor are loaded. This customer also opted for that. Um, that is something that you don't need to do. If you don't want to load them, we always suggest having an attachment on the back or a ballast box because this loader does lift quite a bit for its small size and has a lot of hydraulic power. Um, so 19.5 for this whole setup. And uh, if you put $3,200 down, uh, that could get you in the low 200 range um, payment wise. So, you know, 210 to $240 a month, it's pretty affordable um, and a nice, nice setup for sure. All right, we're gonna fire this thing up and we're gonna try out that grapple and see what you guys think of it. really nice you know one scoop we picked up 90% of those sticks that were right there it's just amazing you can get a lot of work done with a grapple like this people don't realize we're gonna throw this these logs in the woods here quick and easy you know we'll pick up this log here Again, easy. See if we can get a rock here now, just to give you an example. I'm gonna dig into the ground on this one. We got him. <laughs> so you can really, I mean, clean up property like so quick with these things. I hope you guys like that quick demonstration on this package. If you guys want to, you know, get an exact quote on this and get some financing options worked up for you, give us a call at 413-253-5456, or you can visit us on our website and check out this package listing under package deals. 
And that uh, website is www.orchardhillsales.com. Again, I'm Marshall from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment, and this is our CK2510 tractor loader third function grapple package. Have a great day.